Greetings from Seattle. I'm in my husband Dale Chihuly's studio and I want to congratulate the International Bipolar Foundation on the success and the incredible work that uh, they've been doing since the very beginning. Um, I also want to congratulate you on your fourth annual Starry Night fundraiser and I wish you the most success with this event. The resources that you are gathering and the education you're to give and the stories you're able to share are more needed than ever. Now that we're six plus months into this COVID-19 pandemic, we see huge upticks in reports of mental illness, depression, anxiety, isolation. I've been living with bipolar uh, disorder and other mental illnesses in my family, plus addiction from the very beginning of my life. Uh, my mother took her life um, at age 76 uh, and I process that every year as we go into the holidays because that happened on December 11th. Um, my, I live with an incredible artist, Dale, who suffers from bipolar, but he has been, I think, one of, one of the brightest lights and greatest success stories uh, that I've seen. And part of uh, what contributes to that is the truth that we're able to tell one another about the illness, about advancements in um, treatment, about regular therapy, and about having a very supportive community and a group of work colleagues that help us uh, continue to, to, to move forward. So I, I just want to uh, applaud your efforts to provide more resources online. I think that now, you know, there's no reason people can't go virtually, can't go on the web and reach out and find a support and connection as we move into the holidays, as we get through this pandemic, and as we deal with this, with this incredible um, statistic around mental illness, which is taking so many lives and so many lives unnecessarily. So let's keep doing the good work, let's stay connected, let's tell the truth about um, what we're experiencing in our families because we can help so many other people by doing that, by just breaking down that stigma and being able to speak honestly about mental illness. Have a great night.